Mountain Engines by the Reverend W. Audrey. Mountain Engine. Sir Handel had a bad day. The old coaches, Agnes, Ruth, Lucy, Jemima and Beatrice, had been awkward. They made him slip to a standstill twice. He was furious. Those cattle trucks should be scrapped, he fumed. Scarlowy was shocked. I won't have it, he protested. Those old dears need kindness, not bad names. Exactly so, agreed Reneus. He winked at Scarlowy. You'll be thankful, Sir Handel, that we are not on a mountain railway. A mountain railway? What's that? A railway which climbs mountains, of course. But it can't, said Sir Handel. Its engine's wheels would slip. But it can, said Reneus firmly. We heard one not quite near here. It can't. It can. A noisy argument started just as Donald shunted a flat truck to a siding nearby. On the truck was a queer looking engine. He had six small wheels and a stovepipe chimney. His boiler was tilted downwards and his cylinders were back to front. Whoosh! whispered Donald hoarsely. Do not weak the V engine. It's tired he is. He's away back from England after being mended. He came out of this. We understand, but who is he? He's called Coldy, after the mountain his railway claims. Well, <laughs> did you ever? explained the two old engines. They looked at Sir Handel and chuckled. I don't believe it, said Sir Handel. Oh, you best ask him yourself. Then maybe it's the, it's the truth I'll be telling you. Donald puffed away, offended. Coldy woke to find the engines gazing at him. Where am I? he asked. They told him. That's good, he said. I'm nearly home now. Do you really climb mountains? asked Scarlowy. I've done it for years. You must be clever. We couldn't. Our wheels would slip. I'm not really clever, laughed Coldy. I was just drawn like that. Like what? With pinion wheels on my driving axles. They have teeth, you see, which fit into a rack rail. I can't slip however steep the line is. That, said Reneus, must help you going up. But if your line is so steep, aren't you frightened coming down? Why? We have good brakes. Coaches, went on Reneus, are sometimes silly and try to push us downhill. Some <coughs> engines find it hard to stop them. Sir Handel blushed and looked at his buffers. Our coaches, answered Coldy, are never silly like that. They know some tricks are dangerous. I never had that sort of accident. But, he went on thoughtfully, I was frightened once. Very frightened indeed. Please tell us, said all the engines. One day, long ago, before our line was opened, our drivers made all five of us engines stand ready outside our shed. The inspector's coming, they said. We don't know which one of you he'll choose. He chose me, climbed into my cab, and made me push two coaches to the summit. So far so good, he said. Now we'll test your brakes. So we went and stood on the steepest part of the line. Down, down it fell, with a nasty curve below edging a precipice. Brace off, driver. Let him roll. Ooh! Gasped little engines in horror. The coaches nudged me. We gave us speed downhill. I was terrified. My driver's hand stalled to the brake. Hands off! ordered the inspector. Then I remembered. I had automatic brakes. I could put these on myself. Perhaps the inspector wanted to see if I could. They worked beautifully. Well done, Coldy, said the inspector. You'll do. I smiled, of course, but felt very shaky. 
My drive and farm are up their faces. They'd be nervous too. I'm never nervous now, finished Caldy. Why should I be? There's no need.